incredible work that the Indian government is doing and the sort of recognition that we're sort of moving beyond uh, the creating of the smart city structures to actually now looking at how they can make a difference in the various areas. Uh, in working across multiple organisations, the issue of integration of functions, how they're actually managed, how the data is organised, means that um, some of the priorities around integration, collaboration of multiple interests, building the capacity not of experts but within the city, uh, recognising that again it's an interaction of many parts and that for smart cities to be more than a concept, um, the capacity within the cities needs to grow uh, to draw on the expertise of organisations such as the World Bank and the UN agencies, but ultimately to be able to continue to recognise where the needs are and respond to them accordingly. And that's a mixture, if I can quote the mission director for Smart Cities, people, process and platforms. We have uh, three, three main activities. Uh, one is in the provision of lending. One is in the provision of knowledge and technical advice and one is in the convening of different groups around a particular area. I think the conference highlights that we can bring people and organisations together around important themes. This conference is actually the culmination of uh, what in the past have been bilateral relations and partnerships and now, you know, many have joined together around the issue and opportunities for smart cities in India. What inspired me was to hear that people are at the centre of a smart city and it's not just about digital tools and solutions. However, the, the fact that there are now digital platforms, many of them are open source, that means that, um, this becomes a new opportunity upon which the services to people can be designed um, the research can be drawn from these open data platforms and then the means for implementation is a collaboration. The response is even um, deeper and wider than it has been in the past. It highlights smart cities as more than a concept. There are many parts of society, government and the economy really interested in working in the smart city space. Smart Decision Maker is on the table now for all of us to work together on. And the takeaways, I think, for the hosting team in the World Bank is a great deal of pleasure that there was such energy, even to the last moment of the second day, of both exploring opportunities, explaining experiences. And I think this notion of the platform can be the basis upon which we bring together these uh, different interests and expertise and then, then the smart cities are in a position to be able to select the things that work with them.